Alright, welcome back to the channel. I came out this morning before work to add some water to the bee bath because it's in the 90s. It's going to get into like 101 with the heat index today. So it's going to be a hot day. I wanted to make sure they had some water. And then I come out here and this hive is being attacked by ants. This little nuke, resource nuke, just cannot get a break. Uh, the robbing situation has stopped, but now there's an invasion going on. Now, I usually grease the legs, and I have greased the legs of this hive stand to keep the ants off of it. But the ants, they want what's in here, the sugar and the syrup, so badly that they've made a bridge of dead ants across the grease. And they've climbed up and they've actually got onto this hive to the point where the bees are starting to abscond and leave. So I need to, uh, I need to get in here as quickly as possible and see if I can't solve it. Now, I did bring the little blue nuke up and hopefully there are no ants on these frames. I hope. I'm going to remove the frames, put them in the blue nuke and try to clean out that side of the hive. I'm going to have to do something, re-grease the legs or something to prevent the ants from getting back up on this hive. But, uh, but that's where we are. I need to get this done so that I can get to work. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. The sun just came up. I don't know what the temperature is. I'll put it up there. Um, but it's hot and it's sticky. Let me get my gear on and we'll get this thing going. All right. Let's see what it is we can, uh, we can do here. Okay. Bees, I'm sorry because I know you're up underneath that lid, but this is all I can do. I'm sorry. Look at those girls. They're doing what they can to get away. Let's turn this this way. Alright. I don't even know if I'm going to have any bees left in this hive. Oh no! I may not have any bees left in here. Oh, they've all left. They have all absconded. They're gone. I don't think there's anybody left. This is the worst. The worst. No bees at all on that frame, and this frame is this frame is gross. Okay, I think this is a lost cause. There are no bees left in here. This hive has been completely taken over by ants. There are no bees. I 
at all left in this hive. None. This hive has been destroyed by ants. In a million hive beetles, I mean literally, there are a ton of hive beetles down in here. This nuke did not make it. Sorry, B. How am I going to get the ants off all these frames? Okay, I may have to fold these bees into that hive unless there's a queen here. Okay, okay. We have a huge problem here. What am I going to do? I mean, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. I don't even think I can save these frames. This is miserable. Okay. I'm going to have to take this box off. I'm going to have to come up with some new frames. I'll put some, uh, I've got some drawn comb, and they're mediums, but I'll hang them in this box after I get this put back together. Oh, shoot. Shoot. That's right. This bottom is one unit. I can't take this bottom off without taking that bottom off. This is like a bad dream. I can't seem to get this unglued. There we go. Come on, girls. I don't want the ants getting your side. I'm sorry I broke your propolis seal there. All right, so the first thing I need to do, I need to get these bees at home. Let me get some frames. Okay, I do not have any deeps. But I have these mediums that were drawn out, and I'm gonna put these in the blue nuke. Let's see. Let's see if there's a queen associated with these bees at all. See, there's my queen. There she is, she's right there. Let's give these girls another place to go. There she goes, she's back down in the hive. Okay, the queen survived, I don't know how, but she survived. Okay, so we have a queen in there now. How in the world did she survive? In here are what's left of her subjects. All right. Ooh. Okay, that queen has been saved. She has been saved for how long I do not know. I don't want any bees to get hurt because there aren't enough left. Let's look at the other side of the hive really quick. Let me tell you, this side of the hive is very strong. I can hear them. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put my gloves on. Oh yeah, this hive is strong. These girls are strong. And what's funny is that this was the weakest hive. They were weak. That's why I turned it around. And now they're the strongest. I'm going to move this. 
temporarily over here. And I'm going to try to get this cleaned out. Here. You girls go back into your hive. Okay. I've got to do something to get these ants out of here. Get your place to land back here. You do have a home. Now, now I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I do not want to put those bees back here. I think what I need to do next are hive beetle traps. Go get some beetle traps. Okay, in the past I've used beetle blasters, but these are supposedly reusable. I'll put the link down below. They're more rigid and they come in two pieces. You snap them together. See, that was my big fear. That was my big fear. The trap came apart. If I dump oil into the hive, it's doom. Oh, the whole trap came apart. See, this is my fear with this particular trap. Oh, got it. That was my fear. The last thing I want to do is spill oil in this hive. Which means I may not be providing you with a link to this because I don't know if I'm even going to like this. I'm going to leave that right there. And we'll put this lid back on. So you girls, just in case any of your sisters left this morning, here you go. Now this hive, fortunately for me, has a screened bottom board, which means that if any hive beetles laid eggs in here and they turned into larvae, the chances are they fell out the bottom. And that is exactly what it looks like happened here because I do not see any beetles running around in here at all. And that makes me happy. Do we have any frame? of food in here that I can give to the little blue nuke. That's a nice, that's a nice frame of food. That is a nice frame of food. I'm going to give this frame to the little blue nuke. And you girls, I'm sorry I'm taking away some of your food. Your sisters next door are starving. Go girls. There you go. There's a little bit of food for you. Let's get this on there. All right. So now I have some pollen substitute. I'm going to tear a piece of printer paper. I'm going to set it inside this hive. Pour some dry pollen substitute on there. All right. There 
there's that. Okay, now, oh no, wiped out a bee. I have very few bees left. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to block their entrance as much as I can so that only one bee can get in and out because they're a very weak hive. Here you go, girls. Here you go. All right, so that's my solution. Well, temporary solution to stop the ant invasion. Let me tell you, I've tried everything. Last year, I greased the legs, and this year I greased the legs of my hive stands, and that has worked up until recently, maybe the last two, three weeks. And the ants have started actually building a bridge with dead ants across the grease just to get onto the hives. And unfortunately, they were able to completely clean out the green side of this nuke. I mean, they wiped it out. We managed to save the queen. She's now in here in a small nuke, very small cluster of bees, a queen, no resources. I had to actually take some resources from this hive and give them to her in here. I gave her some dry pollen feed, so hopefully she'll be okay. But this is not what I wanted to see this morning when I just came out to make sure that the bees had water for this hot day. Another problem is I've got a huge hive beetle problem, not so much in this hive, but in this resource hive, and I think it's because it does not have a screen bottom board. So when a hive beetle goes in there and lays eggs, the larva turns into a hive beetle and it runs around in there and lays eggs. Uh, nobody's dropping out through the bottom, so I think I'm going to have to build a screen bottom board for this resource hive. That's the only thing that I can see. I tried the new beetle traps from Better Bee. I don't recommend them. Stick with the beetle blaster if that's what you use. That's what I used last year. It worked great. I'm going to order some more and get the plastic beetle blasters in here because the beetle traps that Better Bee are putting out, the top of them doesn't stay on, and I'm very, very afraid that I'm going to end up dropping oil down into the hive and killing a lot of bees. With that said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button below. Um, if you have something to say, please comment. If you have a suggestion as far as how I can control these ants, let me know. I'm going to try to get some of that diatomaceous earth, I think that's what it's called, and sprinkle that around the bottom. Hopefully that'll work. Um, but I've got a bad problem that I've got to deal with here. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should do. And I promise I'll read them all and, and reply back to you. And hopefully we'll find something good in there, a gem, that will solve this problem. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It just takes a second, hit the button, ring the bell. Everything's good. With all that said, I've got to go to work. So you be happy. I'm going to have a great day. You have a great day. I'll see you later.